Hey, what's up you guys? Today I have a winter to spring work outfits of the week. I've got five different looks featuring a mix of warm weather and cold weather pieces. I love this transitional period because you can start getting excited about warm weather pieces, but also squeeze out the last bit of life in your winter pieces. So I hope you guys enjoy today's looks. Everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in that description box. I love you guys so much and let's get started. Monday's outfit, we're featuring the spring lightweight cami paired with some winter trousers. I have one of my favorite favorite camis here from Express. This is the downtown v-neck cami. It is so versatile. You can dress it up or down. It looks great for work to cocktails. And I tuck that into these really thick beige high-waisted ankle length trousers from J. Ng. They've got these great little belt loops for a skinny belt. I did a nice plain simple minimal black one and then topped it off with a lightweight oversized blazer from H&M. It's got these cute little pearlized buttons on the front. I think this whole outfit feels very office appropriate with the black and the beige color palette. But there's some trendier touches here and there to make it a little bit more fashion forward. I paired it with these really cool black mesh pointy toed pumps that I'm obsessed with from Nordstrom and then my Givenchy small Antigona bag. Tuesday's outfit, I love this color palette. It's so light and it's a nice mix between like winter and spring. We have an all white ensemble mixed with one of my favorite pieces for the office, a sweater coat again. This one's from J. Crew. It's a classic camel color. It has the lapels of a blazer, the length of a coat, but the material Material of your favorite cardigan. It's just a really versatile cozy piece that looks good with literally anything you pair it with. It's refined enough for the office. Underneath you have the white monochromatic outfit. On the top I have an express body contour high neck tank top. Seriously some of the best basics for the spring and summer. I wear these non-stop. It's a nice slimming thick material and it looks fantastic tucked into these Love Bonito high-waisted white drapey culottes. You guys I did two different hauls with Love Benito. They make some great basics for petites. These are just so well lined even though they're white you don't see anything see-through. Together it makes a really elegant mix and then to break it up I just did this plain brown leather belt 10 years ago. I love that together. It looks like a jumpsuit. If you are petite this is a really great visual elongating effect to do the monochromatic and then I paired it with the same high heels from the last outfit but in the camel color and then my Pauline bag. Wednesday's look we have one of my favorite weapons in the winter to spring fashion arsenal. The turtleneck tank top is awesome because you have the neck coverage and the thick knit of a winter turtleneck, but you have the shape of a spring to summer tank top. All mixed into one. It's a nice mixture of soft and cozy, but not feeling super restricting. Underneath a piece of outerwear, it looks like a full turtleneck. It's awesome. And this one is from Good American. This one actually has more of a sexier cut, but I'm pairing it underneath this navy drapey trench that I got from Nordstrom years ago. I really really loved this navy and gray ensemble and I paired it with some of my favorite Uniqlo navy pinstripe smart ankle pants. This is actually a pair I got also many years ago but together it looks really cohesive. It brings out the gray and then I finished things off with a warm touch with matching brown croc bag and sling back pointy toed pumps. Thursday's outfit is mixing a thick winter knit with some linen pants. Obviously linen is great for spring and summer and the warm weather and this whole clothing ensemble is actually from Love Benito too. The top is going to be this really thick ribbed wrap front cropped sweater that looks super feminine and elegant. I tucked it into their linen palazzo pants. I love these pants so much. I can't wait to style them for the spring and summer, but they honestly look like a pair of really nice office trousers. The thing I love about Love Benito, especially their pants, is everything is lined so well. This is not a flimsy pair of linen trousers, and I love just mixing the contrast between the thick knit and the nice natural linen linen material. I topped it off with a really elegant oversized coat that picks up on these creamy neutral beiges and then finished it with a pair of cream ankle booties from Schutz and that same pulling bag. Sandy, soft, earthy neutrals. Absolutely love it. And finally for Friday's look, one of my favorite outfit combinations for this transitional weather is to pair a thick sweater knit with a long flowy lightweight skirt. And a pleated mini skirt I think is so flattering. It's such a really nice elevated skirt option for the office that's not a tight pencil skirt and this one is a really cool one because it mixes kind of like a fall palette and pattern but with the shape and lightness of the spring pleated midi skirt. On the top I have a simple cream sweater. This one has kind of like a 
borrowed from the boys look with the tall collar and has these big contrasting brown buttons that accent perfectly with the accessories. We have that same matching mango combo with this cute little brown croc briefcase and matching sling back pumps. Definitely squeezing out the last bits of fall to winter colors with the warm browns, but ultimately the point is having that nice thick cozy knit on the top for warmth and then having just a loose and breezy bottom for a really nice complimentary pairing. And then for a bonus outfit idea, you can never go wrong with a sweater dress. And back to my point about the turtleneck tank, it's just a really great marriage between the full coverage of a winter sweater dress, but the sleeveless makes it comfortable for spring. I also really like the midi length because it kind of looks like a pencil skirt on the bottom. I accentuated the waist with that thin brown belt, kind of like a spring accessory touch, and then wrapped it all together with my Goyard tote. If you wanted to up the coverage, I will highly recommend throwing on a blazer. Super office ready. You can take it off for cocktails. Here I have the same blazer from Monday's outfit for a super complete work outfit look. All right, guys, that does it for today's lookbook. Hope you guys enjoyed today's workwear outfits. Again, everything mentioned is down below in that description box. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing March so far, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!